Oh, I got Bonnie the Escape Artist number two. I got this little pig on the side cage because his brothers and sisters want to beat up on him. Yeah, what you doing outside your cage? Look at him. He busted out. Yeah, you busted out. How'd you get out? Yeah, what you doing out here? You're going to make yellow friends jealous that you're outside and, he, and they're not. I have to make an appointment today for them to go to the vet. And then I have to make another appointment to get the other ones to the vet so they can get castrated. You see he, what he's doing? He's eating some of that grain. I put a little bit down there. He's trying, though. What are you doing out here, Junior? You're being a bad pig. You're being a bad pig. You're outside of your house. So I don't want to work in there no more. I need a bigger area, Ma. I need a bigger area, Mama. Uh-oh. Are you going to show me how you're getting out of your cagey? Are you going to tell me? Are you going to show me how you're getting out? Let me see. Well, you ain't getting out that way. That's for sure. I think he's getting out. I don't know how if he could get out that way. He's probably getting out there. Oh, no. I see how you got out. You busted your cage open. And you worked it open. See, he's getting stronger and stronger by the day. Oh. How he do this? Oh, damn it! Oh. Being a bomb boy. Yes, you are. Uh. Pigs ain't stupid, I tell you that much. <laughs> yeah, you're bam ba ba. <coughs> yeah, you're being a ba boy. You wanna go down and see Stubbs? You being a bad boy. Yeah. <coughs> well, you can't go in that way. Really, bro? Really, bro? You can't sleep there. Are you tired? Are you tired? You can't sleep there, though. Look at his funny ass. He wants to sleep there. He doesn't get around far enough. Unlike these pigs. Look at him. Thinking about taking this cage out. There's just no room in there for him to get in. Where the cage is is the only dry area. I have to go down and get me some more hay today. Hay it up. Put a lot of hay around the wet spots. And take this cage out if I can. Then maybe they could all go back in there. But they like to bully on him. And I don't like it. <coughs> I know it shows dominance. Who's the leader of the pack. But <coughs> it's, it's bad when you pick on him. When he can't defend himself. Because his leg is messed up. Look what I found, peekaboo. Are you gonna go to sleep? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on. Come on. Come out of there, Junior. Junior. Peekaboo, Junior. Come on, bye bye. Come on, bye bye. Peekaboo, Junior. Peekaboo, Junior. Come on. 
Come on. Ma, 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 ma. Peekaboo. What you doing? What you doing, boy? What you doing? Oh, it's a poor boy. You don't like to be touched? <coughs> Come on. Come on. <coughs> Come on, bad little child. Come on. Come on, Junior. And you can see his leg is still very, very... I mean, there's no way at a 690-pound pig in one year, nine months old, it'll be 690 pounds. There's no way he's going to be able to sustain his life on this bad leg. And it's sad because he's a good pig. He's a really nice, laid-back, chill pig. He's not feisty like the rest of them. He's like Clyde. He's really chill. And he's the only one that looks like Clyde. And I had 12 in total, 6 died. No, I had 11 in total, 6 died, 5 survived. That's sad. Thank God not all 12 of them survived because I, don't, I wouldn't be able to handle them. I would have had to find a foster mother to stick them on. And then you know what happens with that. You give them to somebody to foster them out and they land up keeping them. Yeah. Happened to my, my cinnamon. I had a dog that I was in transactional moving. I asked the lady if she could watch my dog while in the process of moving. And when I came back for the dog, she's like, that's my dog. I've been feeding her. I've been taking care of her. I'm like, I've been sending you money. Oh, you have no proof of that? Yeah, all my money orders is proof. Piggy, piggy. He's just working his little area. You can't sleep there, though, bro. You can't sleep there, bro. You got to get up. Gonna have to get me another piece of tin. I have to, he has to go in because the dogs are gonna come out. See the white crane? That's a white crane. It just came off of my back property and now she's flying over there to the other wetland. Hey, shrimp and crawfish. There's a lot of crawfish across the street coming out of that waterway. And I believe it actually comes out from behind my house, the water. And it comes all the way behind my property. And then it comes out across the street and dumps into that wetland over there. And that is a wetland over there. It's crazy, but it is what it is. And I have to figure out what we're going to do with Houdini. And he went to sleep, you see? And I'm not sure if he came out of his cage last night. I'm not sure at all. I'm going to have to figure something else out with him. I wish I had another chain link thing that I could wrap up behind this tree, bring it out all the way around here, and connect it to this tree. That would be great for him, a little area for him to work in. But I just don't have it. I mean, can't be really spending any more money on these animals because... I just, one, I don't have it. Two, I'm, I'm struggling as it is with COVID-19, having no work and no income coming in. Three, with unemployment, you know, not ex extending their benefits or working fast enough to get the benefits out to the people that actually need it. And three, they're very costly, these animals. Oh, I mean... Where do you think you get your baby back ribs from? That's your baby back ribs right there. It's sad. I can't believe it, but it is what it is. But other than that, I have to get Junior up into his palace again before these dogs come out. 
And I'm going to have to figure a way to keep his ass in without him getting out because he could get out of here. I mean, he's not the most mobile motherfucker, the most mobile pig ever, but he could still get out. So we have to figure ways of keeping him in. If he doesn't see a way out, he won't come out. <clears throat> you need to get up out of there. You need to get up out of there. You can't lay in here. You can't lay in here. Come on. Come on. Come on, my friend. He got all these big bumps on him, like really, really, really big bumps on him. I don't know what it is. I have to take him to the vet today anyway. Let me get my friend up in his cage. Come on, friend. Oh, 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 oh. Chill out. No, no, you're staying in here. You cannot come out. Crying out loud. You drink your milk and you chill the hell out. And you go over there and go lay down for a little while. You drink your milky. Yeah, you drink your milky and chill out for a little while. He worked this whole area by himself yesterday. Yeah. You can't be coming out of here. No, you can't be breaking out. I know you're Bonnie's baby boy, but you can't be breaking out. And he knows he could get out from here now. Yeah. You can't be up all bad. Can't be a bad boy. Can't be a bad boy. No, no. No, no. Now go lay down. Go lay down. I know, you don't like when mama, grandma takes you away from out there. I know. Yeah, I don't like these bumps on him. <clears throat> you can see his leg is still very messed up. I mean, the doctor gave him shots. It's so messed up that his testicles haven't even dropped down yet. Yeah, lay down. Lay down. No, no. There you go. Just lay. Just lay. There you go. Oh, God. Lord mercy. Yes, Bonnie, the escape artist is. They're, it's embedded in their brains to be an escape artist. They're very smart. Don't think a pig is stupid because a pig is more smarter than a dog is. Let's see if I could get me something over here that I could just jack up the, uh, the area. Put a piece of tin there. If I have one, I don't know. Stubbs must be down in his wood hole. The mosquitoes are so huge out here lately. Sad. I have to go to the store. I have to go into town. I have to get pig feed. Hay. And try to see if I could get some weaning pellets. Sleeping? You sleeping? Yeah. Yeah, sleeping. Sleeping little boy. Take a piece of tin. Prop it up against this cage. 
Then I like to bring the piglets, the bigger ones down here this afternoon. Get them accommodated with stubs. It's a lot. There's always something going on here. It's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot. I see that uh, Stubbs has been trying to break out from underneath here, so I put this container here. <coughs> they all just want to break out. They just want to run around eight acres of land by themselves and have no consequences. And I wish I can give them four acres by themselves. I really do. I really wish I can. But I can't. Yeah, put that there so you don't break out. Because the dogs will get him and Blue is, I trust him with my pigs. But him, I don't. Him, I don't. I don't trust that little dog for nothing. All right, hopefully everybody has a great day. Ciao.